Hi guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is a little review. I was recently contacted by a company called Trendsgale.com and I was a little bit skeptical just because I've never heard of that company before, but I ended up finding out that a lot of people were trying to see about their products, if this was a legitimate company, if their products were of any quality, and so I decided to accept doing the review so that I could let you know exactly how their products are at least some of them. So um, the woman told me to pick out $20 worth of items from their website and I did. Um, so like I said, this these items were sent to me for review. This is not a sponsored video by any means. All opinions will be 100% honest as always, but I did want to leave you guys with this little disclaimer and that is that, like I said, these products were sent for review. So I've not actually done a purchase transaction with them. So I can't comment on how a transaction would go because I personally have never purchased from them and I would like to actually get some more feedback on some who have if you have please let me know how it, how it goes because um, it went pretty smoothly for me getting these products but it did take quite a while I believe it took two and a half weeks in all so that's kind of a long time I feel but um I'm actually pretty happy with the product so like I said I can t comment only on the quality of the product, not on the purchase transaction. So with that said, let's get into the items that I picked out. So the first thing that I picked out was this purse and it just has um, faux leather. It's a cream color. It's got this lace detailing and it also has these little zippers and I don't know what the exact name of this bag is. All of the items had super long names so that's an interesting thing to keep in mind. And um, yeah, I was actually surprised at how nice this bag was, um, just the look from the front. Now, it's pretty spacious. It also comes with a long strap in case you want to carry it like that or if you want to carry it by the handles. Um, this is what it looks like inside. I was actually surprised that the lining was cute. I like cute lining. So, um, yeah, I mean, how much was this bag? I, I don't know. All of four, I got four items for $20, so it had to have been like $5 or under. These, all of the pro products on there are super, super cheap. So, you know, you're basically getting what you're paying for. Not, not that this one feels necessarily cheap, but um, I was actually impressed with the quality of this one for the money. Um, but it obviously is not the best thing you're ever going to get. So... Um, I really like this bag and I like the embellishments. I thought this one was pretty well made. It even has the little uh, stud things on the bottom and yeah, my mom actually really liked this purse so I think she's going to take this one. But yes, I was quite pleased with this one. Now, the next purse that I ordered, I ordered three purses, is this one. And it is obviously faux leather and um, it has a little bit of a what is it, snake skin detailing right here, and then it zips, and it also has a long strap, and then this is what it looks like inside, and it has the stuffing in it, um, and it has a few pockets in there, which the pockets are kind of a nice detail. To be honest with you, this one does look a little bit cheap to me. Um, I probably won't carry this one, but um, yeah. So that's, that's what I think about this one, and the other thing to keep in mind with these is that not so much this one, but the other one, the lace one that I just showed. These zippers are a little bit hard sometimes, a little bit difficult. They're definitely not YKK zippers, I'll tell you that. But um, yeah, this one, yes, you know, I say that and this one's all buttery, but I don't know. The, the last one is a little bit difficult once in a while, and there were a few loose threads on this that I did have to trim. Um, but for the most part, I think for whatever it costs, was it $5 or, or less, I, I don't remember, but yes, this is okay for the price. So the next product that I got was this blazer, and I'm not really sure what it's made out of. I don't, I don't even think I looked for that, but um, yes, it's this blazer. It has this little black detailing all around the sides, and then it has this uh, little detail on black near the wrists. And then in the back, it kind of cinches with elastic. And I was actually pretty impressed with the quality of the material. Um, and also the shoulder pads, I like that. Gives it a little bit of structure. 
So for the most part, I was impressed. The only thing that I don't like about this is that these lay kind of funny when it's on. Um, I feel like it could have been better sewn right there, but what do you want for, what, three bucks? I don't know. I think that was how much this one was. I can't exactly remember. I'll put the link below for, for the website as well as the prices of the items that I chose. But, um, yes, I do like this for the most part, and I can make this work. And the other thing that I really did like about this is that the sleeves fit me. Now, anything I buy that's got sleeves, it just is, they're always so baggy. I don't know if my arms are just scrawny or whatever, but, and this is an Asian company, so maybe they're like used to Asian girl arms that are like scrawny. I don't know. I don't know. But mine are scrawny. I just know that. And this actually fits them. So the last product that I want to show you is something that I was extremely happy with. This is my favorite product that I ordered and it is this clutch and it is so beautiful I think. It's like a cream faux leather with a gold foily detail in here with cutouts. I think it's so pretty. You can carry it as a clutch or you can connect the chain, the gold chain which I think is beautiful. And then the lining inside this one was super cute. I don't know if you can see that. It's like little people and kids and stuff with hearts and clouds and things and it says I love you inside. It's really, really cute. And I like this one. And to be honest, the quality of this one feels very, very nice. I mean, it feels like something I'd buy at like Charming Charlie. And the back just looks like this. I couldn't believe it when I opened this one to be honest I was so impressed and happy this is my favorite thing that I got from them um, <laughs> a downfall I mean what are you gonna do on this chain there's in one extra link just hanging out so I don't know what you want to say about that but whatever So I was very happy with this one and for the rest of them you know, I give it like a, a B or something, but this one was like a super A plus. So that is pretty much all I have to say about TrendsGale.com. If you've ever ordered from them, I would love to know about it, how it went, um, because I don't know, because if it, it goes good, I'd like to order some more things from them because they have this in more colors. And yes, I would definitely order this again. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more reviews, please let me know, and I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching Glass and Sparkle, and I'll talk to you later.